Okay. Hey guys, how are you? This is Ron from the Ride Shop Culture. <sighs> Hawaii Toro, if you're watching, you're right. I need, I need, I need an electric scooter. I definitely need one. Uh, so here's the story. If you guys remember the last video, I was at what's called Erlington Heights Metro Rail Station. And, and, uh, whew, I'm trying to get to the bus stop now. And I was in Miami. Now, that trip ended today at 8 in the morning. Yesterday, at the last minute, I got a request and I put my day rate higher than what Toro's recommended rate is. Whew. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sunny day today in the middle of here. So, uh, somebody booked the trip and the person was telling me that you know they really needed the car so um so i finished the trip the trip that i was when i was at Erlington Heights metro station that trip finished today i had to get the car washed i had to make sure the things the vitals were good the oil after this trip has to be changed i was going to change it today but because of the last minute booking i still had time on my percentage of oil uh and i'm actually going over by five I like to change it when it's 35 percent now it's 30 percent so i gotta change the oil on the on the car here's the thing hawaii toro is right you need an electric scooter or some type of like transportation not to spend so much money on uber or lyft here's what's going on when i dropped when i picked up my car from miami airport because that's where I had to pick it up from. At the rental car place, there's a parking lot. I picked it up from there. And I had to drive it to my house. And I live about 30 to 45 minutes north of Miami. I don't live in Miami. I live in what's called Hollywood East. Or you guys can call it Fort Lauderdale Beach. However you want to call it. So that's where I live. I had to, of course, get the car cleaned. I had to get my cleaning stuff. Because I didn't want to spend so much, so much money on clean the car and the reason why is because the guys told me and this is my fault he told me that he couldn't find a place where to wash the car and it should have been my duty to give him an address or something prior to his rental to let him know that hey if you want if you're going to wash the car which he has to because he didn't purchase the post uh cleaning go here and i didn't do that it's my fault so he didn't clean the car but he gave me cash which i don't know if that's something i'm supposed to do I got to read up on that, but he just left it in the car. He's like, no, keep it. I don't want to take it. And I'm not going to go back for it because I was in a rush anyway. Anyway, so I got $22 in my pocket. I went to my local car wash in my area and I vacuumed out this, this car because it had a lot of dirt from the sand at the beach. That's another thing too about living in the east side of South Florida. Is that there are going to be a lot of people getting in the car with sand and i'm assuming hawaii toro has that simon experience has that and people that are uh, doing toro and showing their experiences if they live on the east side of their uh and near a beach they're going to be getting sand um so i had to go clean the car i cleaned the car out i vacuumed it i got me a brush and i'll show you right here i got a brush this is from mothers mothers is a car cleaning brand and this goes in between all the edges to take all the dirt out and then i vacuum it and then i polish it with that um thing i was telling you guys about let me see if i can find it real quick the mcguire's yeah i don't see the bus yet the mcguire's thing last time i showed you guys i polished the seats that way the handlebars and everything and of course i cleaned it with the micro band I'm trying to get this. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. You're going to see everything around me. Okay, well, this is not open. Anyway, you've seen the two bottles. Maguire's and the Microband. Anyway, I also use what's called Rim Cleaner. This is a Rim Cleaner. It's at uh, AutoZone. It's $7 tire rim. I used that, and then I went through the, the cheap wash. I didn't use the expensive wash. 
I went to the cheap wash so that the water could c connect with that material, that, that, that chemical, and I'll, I'll clean the rims. Anyway, here's the thing with this trip. So when I had to drop up this car, this car, it's a three, it's a three hour gap too, I, I forgot to mention. This car was booked at 11 a.m. The pickup time for the, um, the last rental was 8 a.m. So I had to go get that car and by between 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. I had to do what I needed to clean, put gas in the car, which I didn't need to, but I put a little bit more just because it could be, it could be up to full. And uh, I drove it up to what's called Pompano Beach, Florida. This is Pompano Beach. It's in a different county. It's an hour away from Miami Airport. And taking Uber from here to my house right now is 30 bucks. And I don't want to do that. I already spent 30 bucks taking... Um, myself to pick up my car because yesterday I drove until 12 o'clock in the morning. If you know guys, you know I'm an Uber driver. So I drove yesterday and made some money on the bonuses that they were giving out. And it was until like 12 o'clock, 12, one o'clock. I didn't go to sleep till three. I had to wake up at 6.30 uh, to get ready so I could get my behind down at, at eight, basically down at 7.30 so I could get to be with the uh, passenger on time. This is Pompano Beach, Florida. Beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, they're at not this rest. This is the Marriott uh, residence. There's another Marriott down there called uh, Solnesta. Solnesta, I think is the name. It's another one, and it's it's on the beach. All these are all of these are beachfront. All these are beachfront. These are beachfront hotels and condos that are all here. This is A1A, and was called Northeast 14th Street. So right now, that's where I'm at right now. And I'm waiting on what's called Route 11 that goes to, because we're gonna take we're gonna take what's called the Tri Rail, and we gotta take that Broward County Transit. So we gotta wait for the 11. Now here's the great thing about Uber: the Uber Passenger app connects with uh, Broward County and Miami Dade Transit, Broward County Transit and Miami Dade Transit, and Palm Tran uh, to tell you when the buses are coming. So. Uh, when Hawaii Toro commented on the video and said, you need to get an electric scooter, he's right. I got to get an electric scooter. If I take an Uber right now, I'm going to be spending $60 on an Uber ride. I've already gotten $20 cash. If I take 10 away from that because I had to actually pay for a car wash, uh, that would be left with $12 because it was $22 cash. $12 from that 30 that I already spent in the morning. Plus, this is another 30 to my house. I said, no, I got to get on a bus. The buses in Broward County are also free for the time being. So um, I'm going to take the bus to the tri -Rail station, and I'm going to take the tri -Rail station down to my house, and I'm going to walk from the tri -Rail station to my house because I'm not too far from that. So that's what's going on with this. This is another experience with Toro. I'm learning. I'm messing up big time. I'm messing up big time, and the reason I know I am because I'm looking at how much money I'm putting in and how much I'm getting out. I'm on the 60% plan, no deductible. They give a car if something happens to it. Something happens to it, I don't deal with it. I just call Turo, they take care of it. But it comes with a price. These people right now that I just dropped off over here in this beautiful city, Pompano Beach, Florida. Check it out on Google Maps. Street View. They pay $229, $30 delivery fee, and I'm getting paid hundred thirty dollars for this because of the sixty percent plus I've given them a discount uh, for five days three days or more five days made it fifteen percent off so um, yeah and I'm at a 60 day rate and this car doesn't go for that this car goes for uh, 30 28 to thirty dollars a day but I said no I'm gonna put that car I'm gonna put that price all the way up and sure enough somebody booked it so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys, you know, see what's happening here. And um, hopefully uh, I learn, I'm gonna learn my lesson. I gotta go look at getting an electric scooter. So Hawaii Tura, shout out to you. Uh, and thank you for that tip. Cause he's right. <laughs> I need a scooter, bro. I need one. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. 
thank you for the new subscribers to the channel. You guys have a great one. Be blessed, be easy, and be sunny, and don't be sweaty like I am. Have a great one. Be blessed. Peace.